Dr. Sam Toko of Clawson, Michigan, is ending his 28th year practicing in the area. Dr. Toko, tell us a little bit about how you got involved with chiropractic. Many years ago when I was uh, growing up and uh, just finishing up in uh, high school, mm -hmm. uh, had a lot of health challenges, uh, mostly stemming from uh, at, a, at around uh, 13 years old, I was running as fast as I could to catch a football. <laughs> I was looking behind me to catch okay. the football, and I caught it. Mm -hmm. And as I caught it, I turned around and met a telephone pole full speed, head first. Wow. And then right after that incident, uh, just just before I was 13 years old, I mm -hmm. began having lots of health problems. But I didn't realize at the time where they were coming from. But mm -hmm. uh, after that, I think for the next year, I wasn't a normal child anymore. Really? I actually... Uh, stayed home, had migraine headaches, mm -hmm. and then from there it grew into uh, problems mainly throughout my whole body, including uh, grand mal seizures I began having mm -hmm. at uh, age 15. Wow. And ended up having them for about 12 years from age 15 to age okay. 27. Okay. Then I had another uh, chronic uh, health challenge with uh, chronic uh, tonsillitis condition mm -hmm. that actually caused me to miss about two and a half years of work out of five and a half years of really? work at General Motors because every Tie, every month it would uh, swell shut to where I couldn't even hardly eat mm -hmm. or do anything. Mm -hmm. um, but I was afraid to get uh, uh, a tonsillectomy because mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine somebody going down my throat with a knife and sure. taking part of my throat out. Right. <laughs> so I actually uh, made and we can make four tonsillectomy surgeries only to cancel them mm -hmm. all because I couldn't live with the thought of doing that. Wow. And then um, had several car accidents mm -hmm. um, as I started uh, get approaching my 20th year of life mm -hmm. and also played football mm -hmm. uh, for two years in high school and one year in college mm -hmm. and uh, as time went on I um, uh, was becoming very unhealthy and I was speaking to at the time my girlfriend's mother and mm -hmm. I was telling her about all of my problems and then she made a, a suggestion that I go see her chiropractor. And your response was what? <laughs> the very, right when she said that, I told her that I wouldn't waste my time to quacks. Really? And I really believed I was speaking the truth mm -hmm. uh, until uh, uh, very calmly she looked at me and asked me what I knew about chiropractic. And then I hesitated. Uh, at the time, it seemed like a long time because I was trying to get right, out of this uncomfortable <laughs> situation. Mm -hmm. But then I just told her the truth, which I didn't know anything about. And you know what, that brings me to my next question. Why should someone consider chiropractic care um, as a part of, as an important part of their health and wellness regimen? Most people, when they think of chiropractic care, and, I, and, I, and I, as you said, I'm ending my 28th year of practice. Mm -hmm. I actually travel around a lot and I talk to people wherever I okay. go and I hang out at uh, health and wellness uh, events. Mm -hmm. But uh, believe it or not, everywhere I go, the majority of time when I mention to people that I'm a doctor of chiropractic, and, mm -hmm. uh, most times what I hear, I think I even heard it yesterday, mm -hmm. I hear something like this, uh, thank God, or I knock on wood, I haven't had no need for a chiropractor. <laughs> so there are many people that mm -hmm. believe they have no need for a chiropractor. Mm -hmm. When I hear that, that saddens my heart, mm -hmm. because I realize quickly that they don't understand the why and the need for chiropractic care. And take us there. Okay. What is the why and the need? What does it do for people um, that we have not been educated about? Most times when think, people think of the need and mm -hmm. the why of chiropractic, they're going to immediately think of back pain and neck pain. Okay. okay. And if they don't have a real big problem with that area of their life, they're going to mm -hmm. automatically assume that that's, they don't need this type of service. But the whole reason for chiropractic care, even though it is with your backbone, mm -hmm. we sometimes get stuck on we get stuck on superficial understanding. So okay. we're thinking about bones, and we're thinking about helping bones out. But mm -hmm. the real truth about spinal columns and bones and mm -hmm. is the fact that the reason why you would want to be concerned about your spinal column is what's within it. Okay. And what's within it is your central nervous system. Your whole life goes through the center of your spinal column mm -hmm. and then out from within your spinal column. Okay to allow for your brain and nerve system to control and coordinate all the parts mm -hmm. of your body and allow for you to experience mm -hmm. and express your whole life. Okay. So when the spinal column is appropriate, and that means two huge things, Okay. it's going to do a great job of housing and protecting your central nervous system. And then you're going to have a good experience mm -hmm. or the best experience and the best expression of your life. So it's almost like then um, you're being proactive and then you're also kind of taking care of things that you may not even know are a problem at the time. 
Yeah, once you okay. get to that pla place of okay. taking care of it. But see, okay. if you have never been there, then I don't I even consider it proactive. I consider okay. it kind of, let's catch up to the, okay. let's get up to speed here with this thing. <laughs> it's kind of what I've said to you earlier. If you okay. had never been to a dentist in your life and at age 45 you show up, you probably have probably no teeth. All, yeah, so we're not being proactive, we're trying to get caught up. Yeah, it makes okay. perfect sense. So same with the spinal column. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and maybe what you don't understand is that we start to harm and hurt our spinal column early in life from the mm -hmm. birth process, learning how to walk, experimenting, falling hundreds of times while and you're that's growing true. up. Yes. When you get on a bicycle, I promise you, you're going to fall off the bicycle. I remember a of it bits well. <laughs> sometimes you go over the handlebars onto your Absolutely. face and onto your head, and you slip right. on the ice, and you have car accidents. Sure. So by the time we get, you mm -hmm. know, start to age in our life, we've already have had traumatic experiences that have probably caused our spinal columns not to be less than optimal. And who hasn't done those things? I have fallen Everybody. off the handlebars, I've been in car accidents, I've done all of that.